Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my channel. For the people this is the first video they seen, I have lots of Persian video, they can look at it and enjoy. For the people that are following me, please share this. The food that we are making tonight, it's, a, it's our own recipe, actually it's my wife recipe, which a uh, long time ago, about like 45 years ago, we were here in the United States, we go to the university, and it wasn't like this. You can find the Persian food all over America and also most of the grocery st uh, stores. But we missed our food, so she came with the uh, dish that it's her own uh, recipe. And it was very simple, actually, it tastes like a Persian food. Now, this is a, a ground beef stew with the green pea and, and uh, carrots. For C, it's Khoreshte Gushte Charkarde Ba Havij Va Nukhod Farangi. So my wife look around to see what we have. She finds something in our fridge and mix them together and that's the result. So let's go over the ingredients and start making it. For making this food, I have a one pound or half a kilogram. It's a very lean, like it's 5% fat and ground beef. I have here is a three carrots, which you can use two large one or less or more is up to you if you like it. Two potato that I peeled already and one medium sized onion. I have two and a half as tablespoon uh, tomato paste, one cup of green peas, and these are our spices. Here is a turmeric, half a teaspoon, one and a half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon black pepper, half a teaspoon cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon curry powder, half a teaspoon cumin powder, half a teaspoon garlic powder, and one small serrano pepper, which it's optional. If you don't want it, we like a little bit hot foods, so that's it. And I have some liquid saffron and a little bit of the oil, and we have two cups of water that we have to mix all together. First thing first, we start with the onion and let's chop this one to the small pieces and then uh, potato and carrots and we go over the stove top and start making it. All right, so here we go. Let's get to work. By the way, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It was a yesterday was a Thanksgiving and we were invited to a very dear friend that we know her since we were in a school here in the United States, like about 45 years. We are very wonderful people and uh, we love them very much. So we had a great time yesterday, last evening. We had a great food, a turkey, all the stuffing, uh, wonderful, wonderful foods. And I hope that you also enjoyed your Thanksgiving with the family and wish you the best till the next year, same day, you know, gathering together. The carrots is up to you. How do you want to cut it? A small, you know, dialogue this way, or it's totally it's up to you. How do you want to cut your carrots? And also you can make it more or less is again, it's totally, because this is, doesn't have any description anywhere. This is what my wife made, and since we had it, we all loved it and started making it, and we're doing it right now, every maybe once a month, we have this food, which is still we love and bring lots of memory when we're having it. Now we are going to have our potatoes to cut them. This is, we usually cut them, you know, very, you know, small cubic size. But again, is, is your choice if you want to make it big or smaller. And also more than two or less than two, it totally is up to you. 
All right, this is the whole thing is a one pan food. So starting with the putting a little bit of uh, oil of your choice for sauteing the onion and the rest of stuff that we have to add. And I think that's enough for us. And as soon as it gets it hot a little bit, then I'm going to add the onion. Okay, just give them a few minutes as soon as it loosen and we add the meats to it. This is the time I guess we have to add, as you look at it, is a translucent and I just uh, change a little bit of the color and that's enough for the onion. Now, you can add the spices at this time uh, or after you just add the beef and saute and add the spices. I rather to do it right now, the reason is because this heat gonna bring the, all the aroma from the spices and also makes it more tastier. So that's what I do, I'm gonna do. I add the whole thing, all the spices at the same time and just turn it on for a maybe 10, 15 seconds and then you should add meat. Well, you should be here to smell this. Oh wow, my God, it's, it's heaven. Okay, and now it's the time to add your meat. Ground beef that I talked about it. As you notice, this food is not gonna be a fatty food, it's a little bit oil and also the meat itself is pretty lean and uh, so as soon as it turn the color on the meat also this is the time for the add the uh, tomato paste as soon as the color change uh, on the meat and it be everything became brown it's a time for adding tomato paste and you go from there it's about like a maybe one more minute to heat this meat. The temperature on this one, I mean actually the heat on this one, it's a, it's a full until we add all the ingredients as soon as it starts boiling, then we reduce the heat in medium low and leave it there for 20 minutes to 30 minutes our food is going to be ready. That's simple and easy. All right, look at this. It just all became brown and I just make a little bit room here on the middle for just add our tomato paste. And saute this also with its own meat juice for a another 30 second then we add everything mixed together and we bring the rest of the ingredients at the same time no hesitation looking good all right right is a time for adding the rest of the ingredients also our serrano pepper okay as i said everything is going here at the same time including our peas Okay, it can be a stew without the water, so this is the time to add your water also. I have a boiled water here. Okay, and put about the 
couple of couple of cups that would be enough if you need it you can add it later on also you need it more you can add it later okay this is this is pretty good as you see start boiling because the water was hot and you see that little things bubbles coming okay we use some of our Zafferan right now and we keep some of them for the at the end and also just most of the Persian stew it goes hand by hand with the rice so the rest of the Zafferan also I use a little bit for our uh, rice too all right so this is it, we are almost done. And we reduce the heat to the medium low and let it cook for 20 to 30 minutes. And we come back and occasionally we just uh, turn around and taste to see if it needs more uh, salt or if you need it, make it hot add a little bit of the cayenne pepper or whatever you like all right see you next okay guys it's been about like a 20 minutes and we are where we want to be i usually or my wife put at this time a half a lemon or lime juice and enhance the flavor of the food and I recommend that you do that too okay For, I think in five minutes the food's going to be ready and I'm going to serve that I see you when okay everybody this is our food this is the end of it. I'm just going to add a little bit of the chopped parsley. Although it is a beautiful and a colorful, the taste and the smell is amazing. Uh, I'm just encourage everybody to make this dish. As I said, we eat it with the rice and you can have it with the choice of your bread or you make a rice. If you don't, I have a video about how to make a rice with a nice beautiful tahdik and we have some sabzi all the Iranian they love to have a sabzi to next to their dish which is including of the green onion radish cilantro parsley and tarakan okay guys thank you so much for watching my video and I appreciate your support especially the people that is the first time they watching I have so many different Persian dishes that you can see if you follow me I really appreciate because every time that I make a new video you, you just gonna be a notice and the people that are already following me like always I love you all until next time with another dish bye